for the titration lab, you're going to want your equipment set up like this. If you look at the ring stand that's holding the burette, you will see that the burette clamp is clamped not with the center pole portion, but one side is clamped to the ring stand, the other side is clamped to the burette. You need to do this so that the beaker is in the center of the spin plate and so the burette drops directly into it. You're going to need your second ring stand clamped to a pH meter and you need to have it set up like this. This way you have both hands free for controlling the burette and adding liquid and so that you can record your pH and your volume of base added. You want to have the burette set up so that the tip of the burette is below the top of the beaker so that you make sure all the liquid goes in the burette. You want to have the pH meter so that first of all you can read it, second of all so that the bottom is in the liquid and so that the bottom is above the spin bar. If the spin bar hits the end of the pH meter it can damage it. This is about the speed that you want your solution to be spinning. This ensures continuing mixing. These are two beakers full of pH 7 buffer where the pH meters are sitting. Right now they're turned off. When you're ready for a pH meter, turn it on. Make sure it's at pH 7. If it is, then take it out carefully. Hold it in your hand between your index and your third finger. So you're going to grip it like this. Give it a shake to get rid of the excess liquid. And then take it to your lab station and set it up as you saw previously. When you're done, take it out. Rinse it with distilled water, turn it off, and put it back in the beaker so it's ready either to be put away at the end of the day if you're fourth period. First period, please leave the equipment set up. Leave the base in the burettes. Leave the base in the beakers. Empty out the beaker in which you titrated and have everything turned off electronically but so that it's ready for fourth period.